Hello everyone, Enigo Snake here. Welcome back to another episode of Shrouds of Cold Still. So, we're back. Just came down the stairs. We're running after our sister right now. So, uh, let's see if people say things differently here. You're looking for a young lady from St. Astrea Girls School? I'm afraid that I haven't seen anyone who even could have been her. Perhaps she isn't in this building at all. It's almost like she didn't come through there. Wait, I mean, people just wouldn't... Hold on. I don't think I saw this. Please calm down. You you said the injury isn't serious, correct? Yes, but he has a very important event to take part in next month, and... and... I understand. Please take me to him. R right away! Did someone get hurt? It didn't sound like they were talking about Elise. Probably not the best time to ask them about her either. I'll come back later. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to figure out where the hell she went. Oh no no no! This isn't good. What whatever should we do? I'm, I probably did that terribly. I'm not a great actor, guys. Uh, <laughs> like people are saying different things. I know I'm supposed to be like rushing to get to her and all this, but d did I just hear you correctly? A student from Saint Australia Girls School has gone missing on our grounds. Of all the things to occur during Principal Van Dyke's absence, what are you waiting for? Go find her before anything happens. She's likely lost somewhere on campus. Find her before she gets herself into trouble. Okay. <laughs> your sister went missing, you say? Hmm. I don't believe I've seen her in this vicinity. You should continue your search for now. I'll get in contact with Instructor Valestine, just in case. Continue your search for now. Okay. He didn't have much to say about it. I mean, they're all in separate rooms here. I don't know why. Like, no one would have seen her. My apologies, Ween, but there's an urgent matter at hand. I truly am sorry, but if you have something to discuss, could it wait until later? Regardless, I need to do a checkup before I can say anything definitive. Please, lead the way. Good god, everything's happening at once. Jeez. Alright, I also talk to everybody who's here. Hmm? What's up? Sorry, I haven't seen anyone around here. Not from St. Australia, at least. Oh, she's lost? I'll keep an eye out and let you know if I spot her. I mean... She could not have gone that far, Jesus. Are you searching for someone? I'm afraid that I don't recall seeing anyone who matches that description. Shh, shh. Now is not the time for idle words. Have you, have you not eyes in your head? My very life is in danger. Oh, almighty Adius, please, please, please allow me to escape the situation safe from harm. She must be out, like, uh, that other uh, Sailor Moon lady must be outside. Margarita. Alright, let's go on the second floor, because, you know. Wow, they're just standing up. Weren't they on the roof? Okay, hey guys. <laughs> I doubt your sister could have gone too far. After all, she doesn't really know her way around here, right? We'll split up and help you look for her, too. Thanks, just get in touch with me if you find any leads. We'll go around and take the classrooms first. How nice of you. I can't sense her anywhere nearby. Do you have any idea where she might have gone? <sighs> Not at all. I feel like such a terrible brother. Hmm. I've got younger sisters too, so I can sympathize. But we need to track her down, and sooner rather than later. I rarely ever argue with Lily and Sheeta though, so I'm not entirely sure what to do in a situation like this. Whatever the case may be, we need to find her sooner rather than later. Of course, because you're perfect, okay? Not that he's perfect, because he still believes in the wind and Adios but, uh, and shit like that, but, you know, he has a nice family. Sorry, I haven't seen any girls with black hair around here. And I haven't seen Hib Hibble at either. He's certainly taken his time. I think he's the person who might be injured right now. <laughs> Just gonna talk to everybody, apparently. A girl from another school. Haven't seen her. Though I certainly would have noticed her if she posed a threat to my progress. Oh my gosh. Don't bother me right now. Doing this properly is vital. I mean, of course she wouldn't know. Like, she's always staying in that fucking statue all day. Like, <laughs> Oh, hey, it's Emma. Any luck, Emma? Not yet, unfortunately. I thought she might have made her way back here. But it doesn't seem like it. I hope you find her soon. Alright. I'll go search somewhere else then. Sorry for the trouble, Emma. 
The fact that this is happening right now of all times feels like more than just a coincidence. And what's wrong, Emma? Uh, oh, it's nothing. There's a strong chance she's become lost somewhere. Please find her soon. She had a lot to say, actually. She had like three things to say. So there's a few places they want me to check. Um, I'm gonna go to the field first. Oh, that's why he was all scared. Cause she's right there. A girl with the black hair? I think I might have seen her, actually. Oh, really? Where? I'm terribly sorry, but I can't seem to remember. I have dedicated the entirety of my focus to chasing my darling Vincent, after all. <laughs> this was the wrong tree to bark up. My darling Vincent, where could you have gone? It's as if you've become more and more elusive the more I yearn for you. Oh, we know where he is. You want to tell her? Rain? Want to, want to be helpful? <laughs> you could. I wish there was like an option. I'd, I'd just fucking tell her. Nah, now. maybe I wouldn't. <laughs> maybe, I, maybe that's not a great idea. Oh, look, they're becoming friends. Perhaps. Probably not. I was running to purge my mind of all thoughts uh, of all thoughts of Alyssa when all of a sudden she started running alongside me. She asked me about a student from St. Estrella Girls School. W whatever could have happened. It doesn't seem like she's come this way. <sighs> Where could she have gone? Sorry, she's such a headache. Such, such a, you do realize that you're the one to blame here, don't you? <sighs> of course you don't. That makes all of this even worse. Mm. I'm just going to leave this place to you and look somewhere else. Oh my god, Rain doesn't think he did anything wrong. Ah, uh, he's so annoying. But of course, if you were in his shoes, of course you don't think you did something wrong, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have said that shit. He totally thinks he's like this is this was the plan. This was always the plan. He was never going to succeed his father, and he always thinks that. You know, everybody wants him to not do that because he's adopted, because he's adopted. Like, as soon as he told this little boy that he was adopted, like, he took that shit to heart and never mind everybody else who's shown him, who has shown him love. Like, I, I, I don't know. Don't, like, it, it depends on the person. Like, some kids really get bent out of shape when they learn that they're adopted. Um, but I would say that many children don't. Like, as, as long as you treat them well, you treat them like they're part of the family, then they should feel like they're part of the family. Unless you're Reed. <laughs> like, he didn't, have, he didn't have any evidence to even support his position on things, but he's going with it anyways. Like, okay. This is how people do, I guess. People are irrational. This is just informing me of the situation. I'll take Whitcomb and help in the search too. Leave the highway to the riding club. If she's out there, we will find her. Uh, sure, thanks, man. It's rare to see uses of all people frantically searching for someone. I'll start looking around here, so you can go search other places. Everyone's being so fucking helpful. Hey, it's V. What's up? That doesn't- you know what? I wanted to take you with me to the schoolhouse, but you didn't want to. Hmm, not here either. V, are you looking for at least two? Mm-hmm, I got a call about what happened. No luck so, so far, though. Really? Thanks, I appreciate it. Sounds like you had a family spat. <laughs> they told you all about that, huh? I'm not a noble by birth, fact is. I don't even have a job of noble blood in me. I'd always be an in in oh, outsider in their world. That's why I know the day will come when I have to leave home, because I don't belong there. Not really. I thought Elise would understand that, but it doesn't seem like she does. Until the others in Zephyr took me in, I was alone too. I never even knew my real parents, so I understand, at least a bit. But they were still family to me. I never thought about leaving them. Why would I? That's the one place I knew I'd always belong. Don't you feel like that about your family? I. Well, it's none of my business. Let's just find her. You're right. I'll leave this place to you then. Thanks, Fee. Okay. Oh my god! Thank you, Fee, for putting that in way, like, less cold and way more understanding terms than I just did a few moments ago. I, I don't have real- I don't have that many friends, guys. <laughs> uh, I can't- I'm not really great at communicating my thoughts to people. And it, I don't know, I feel like I come off as- weird and aloof sometimes to people but i'm trying to change that all right let's go to um 
the gymnasium where um, my girl is, Lara. Lara, who's learning to become a better person. <laughs> Sup, Lara? What you think about my family spat? Lara, are you looking for a lease too? Is it Ellis? I think it's Ellis. I am. I heard about her disappearance earlier and have been searching for her since. Thanks. I really appreciate it. You should save your thanks until I until after we found her. I was informed of what happened between the two of you. <laughs> yeah, rumors spread really quick. Oh, I'm sorry you got dragged into what should have been just a family matter. Belonging to the nobility comes with countless obligations and complications, and your family situation is more complex than most. I believe I understand at least some of your frustrations. Lara. However, there's one thing I feel I have to ask you. Could you swear to your sister with your hand on your heart that your choice isn't simply your desire to escape that life? Forgive me. It's not my place to pry. Not least while when I have my own hesitations to overcome. No, you're right. It looks like you've got things covered here, so I'm going to go look somewhere else, okay? Understood. Leave this area to me. You know what? She was totally- she was insightful right there. She was- I bet that is part of the reason. I thought that in the back of my head too, but I was like, well, he didn't say that. And he seems to be a pretty open person. But... That might be part of the reason too. Like, you wouldn't be so willing to leave if part of you didn't want to do that anyways. Like, you- they have they have built him out to be this this very self like um selfless person but no one's completely selfless like there's some part of you that should care about you know the well-being of yourself or you know finding happiness in your life so if that's something i think part of the reason why is because it was something he wanted to do anyways so let's go to the studio again <laughs> i didn't want to i didn't think that would be a thing for him because I don't know, but well, I already told you why. But. Hey, it's Machias. What's up? I asked around, but no one around here has seen her. Sorry about that, Reen. No worries. Thanks for checking. She has to be somewhere on campus at the very least. Move on to the next place. we Will do. A black-haired girl? I haven't seen anyone like that in the cafeteria. Maybe you should check somewhere else? Let's see if they say the most standard shit ever. Female student. Why does she say that? Sorry, I haven't seen one around here, and she sounds pretty cute, so I'm sure I'd remember. Female student. What? What? Is, what? Is, why? These are some weird-ass robotic NPCs out here. Alright, I'm not gonna just go around and... Alright, I do like being thorough, but damn. Well, they still have an estimation mark here. So... I mean, they're telling me to move on to the next place, but... You gotta trust the map, right? <laughs> Let's talk. You're looking for your little sister? I don't think I've seen her around here. Still, I'm not standing here all the time, so you should ask some of the students here if you want to be completely sure. Okay, so she may not know. A girl from St. Australia. I haven't seen her around here, at least. I can hear the worry in your voice, though. If you need an extra hand, let me know, alright? Ah, I gotta talk to those two people over there. What's up here? Just in case. Oh, it's just- hi, Yusus! What- why the fuck would you think she's up here? Okay, whatever, I wanna talk to him because he's cute. I've yet to find her, unfortunately. That's not his voice. None of the nobles in the salon have seen her either. You actually went to the salon to ask for me? Wow, thanks, Yusus. Think nothing of it. You ought to continue your search, though. That's crazy. Why would she know- like, she wouldn't know to come all the way up here, though, but thanks, Yusus! Wow, Yusus is- we're really hitting it off these days, aren't we? He's a- he's- he's my friend -oh! Okay. I don't know what's a cute word for that, but yeah, he's my friend. Maki has told me he is searching for- he was searching for a lost girl. But given how large this academy is, I can't help but worry. Every- like, this- this spread real quick. Everybody knows I'm looking for my damn sister. <laughs> hey, bro, she might know. What's up? Use her psychic powers. You're looking for your sister? I haven't seen her, but I've been shut in this room since morning. She was actually the least useful there. That's that's a little crazy and ironic. Ah, let's talk to these ladies. What's wrong, Green? You seem awfully flustered. 
Yeah, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you were in some kind of trouble. It's, well... Reen explained to Toa and Angelica that he was searching for his sister. Your sister? Yeah, I don't suppose either of you have seen her, have you? Not that I'm aware of. I've been in here talking with Toa for a while now. I see. Hmm, a stunning young beauty from St. Austria with luscious ebon locks. And she's Reen's sister too, so I'm sure she must have the grace of the finest, most delicate flower. And so whoever finds her gets to be her one true prince, right? Absolutely not. Angie, this is serious. Sorry, couldn't help myself. Anyway, we'll do what we can to help. I'll take the orbital bike for a ride around the outside perimeter of the academy and see if I can find her. Honestly. Um, I'll do what I can as a student council president to see if we can find her too. I'll call you as soon as we, f we hear anything, so keep searching. Thanks, both of you. Okay, cool. We had that whole exchange. <laughs> okay, so everyone's telling me to keep searching. What? I'm lost without my map. Come on, map. Tell me where the fuck she is. I didn't actually think I had to go searching for her. Alright, let's go back out here then. Maybe she's not... Okay, so now it's telling me to go to Trista. Let's go to the front entrance. Let's go. So I can get my cutscenes. It was gonna be like, oh, I haven't seen her or not at all. What am I going to do? I can't find her anywhere. Did she go back into town? It That's feels what the map like says. she wouldn't have left the academy grounds, though. Yo, Reen, what's up? It's fucking crow. Watch. Crow? I'm just looking for someone. A classmate? Or did some second year sweetheart confess to you and you botched things up? Actually, it's my younger sister. She's not a student here, though. Oh, you have a sister? Honestly, I always kind of got that only child vibe from you. Well... Practically an old child. I guess that must be who that girl I saw earlier was then. Long black hair, St. Australia Academy uniform, tear-stained cheeks. That has to be her. Where did you last see her? She was talking with one of those upper crust boys in white, out on that path behind the school. That stuck behind up first the year... School. What's his name? High Arms, I think? Patrick? Don't you... Dear, start acting like you're above me, Reed Schwarzer. Just Patrick. because Ymir's lord took you in out of pity doesn't change the fact that you're a nobody without a drop of noble blood. With him? Let's hope he's not being completely crazy right now. Because he's been fuming a lot lately, though. He's the worst! Why does he never think about what would make him happy? Well, I think he is. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Why can't I just be more honest with him? And with myself. I mean, she was right there the whole time. Was I meant to find her or not? Who might you be? It's Patrick. What if Patrick likes her? Like, ends up liking her? <laughs> That's the uniform of Heimdall's St. Estrella Girls' School, if I'm not mistaken. What brings a lady like yourself all the way out here? I I'm sorry, I... No, no, I, I apologize. I, I wasn't accusing you of anything. I... W wait, right, I, I, I should introduce myself first. Okay. My name is Patrick. Patrick Hyams. He seems decent to I'm Dave. I'm sure you've heard the name before. Oh god. I'm hearing the loser tone come back in. Hyams? It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Elise Schwarzer, daughter of Baron Schwarzer. Ah, Elise. Such a lovely sounding name. Okay. Wait a second. Schwarzer? 
As in Reen Schwarzer? Are you his sister? Yes. Y yes. Reen is my elder brother. Ugh. Why does she have to be related to that Cretan? She's not really related, but... She was but adopted. Okay. That means they aren't related by blood. Here we go. It seems you're not on the best of terms with my brother. Wish to cause you any unpleasantness, so I'll just excuse myself. Yeah, just leave that bitch. N no, no, <laughs> like, you aren't. I, I mean... Just, just leave this... He's having a crisis moment here. Let's hope he becomes a better person, please. Nah, he's just on the loser list forever. That way. Will Patrick redeem himself? You said you saw her behind the old schoolhouse. Which way did she go? Hmm. Oh, right. I'm gonna have to save her. Come on. I'll show you where I saw her. Oh, okay. He's coming with us. So I hope nothing terrible is happening. Like, don't go into the schoolhouse, though. She went into the fucking schoolhouse. Why? Why? She, she doesn't know, like, it, doesn't, it looked old and dilapidated, but she still went into some Damn. abandoned ass building. Where That's some dumb shit right there. The old schoolhouse is usually oh locked, God. so I don't think she could have gone in there. Unless someone forgot to Patrick. lock it. Or someone is in there. You. Where's Elise? You better not have tried to pick a fight with her and scared her off. I I did no such thing. Oh, he I just happened to see like... her crying, so I approached her to see what was wrong. Then, when she took off running this way, I I followed her out of gentlemanly concern. Okay. <sighs> Looks like she definitely came through here, though. You think she could have gone into that old schoolhouse you guys poke around in every month? Couldn't be. We locked it after we finished up in there earlier. Did we? Is someone else either we didn't lock it or someone else was already in there? Cause Sarah sometimes goes in there. Huh. But then there's the other fact of why the fuck would you just go in there a short while earlier? Yeah, let's explain- oh my god. Went in here. Where Does she know how to defend herself? I? What is this? Why would you keep going for it, kids? Don't- don't do what this game does, okay kids? If you find yourself lost at a- at a, at a school and you see an abandoned building, Go the opposite direction, everybody. Go the opposite the direction. This shit don't look abandoned to your ass. Lights not even on. A cat? Hey, it's, it's a kitty cat. It's all good now. It's a kitty cat. <laughs> oh. And then she follows the random cat that she's never met before. Oh my god. I think I leave the cat because cats can take care of themselves probably better than humans can in places like these. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. <laughs> what is this? It looks like some kind of machine. And yet... Yep, she's just gonna keep going. Wow. It was the part of the game where I'm like... I'm just gonna Where's roll with it. This is sometimes, sometimes JRPGs, you just gotta roll with it. It doesn't all make I sense. I don't see <laughs> where it could have hidden itself. Oh, it looks like there's something written here. Huh? Ah! Oh my god. Alright, we gotta go save her ass. Unless she can defend herself, never know. I don't know what they do at San Andreas School. So it was an elevator. I must have descended pretty far underground. To the fucking door. That will probably open now, by the way. Oh 
Oh my god. We're, we're gonna get some more explaining of Reen's reaction to this door and to the statue back at, um... What's this? The other place where Gaius lived. Red door? It seems awfully huge. Maybe it leads to somewhere important? Wow. She is a curious cat, isn't she? Fourth lock released. Initial fourth lock released. What were the other three? Probably one of them was Rain. Potential awakener waveform confirmed within 50 Arch. Mentioning the first trial. Is can she hear this or is this just on the screen? Oh my! What? She's not ready. Is this a fight? Oh my god! This is mistaken identity a little bit here. <laughs> Uh, are we gonna make it in time? I like how the elevator just leaves her. <laughs> he is fucked up. Is Patrick gonna be in our group? Elise, where are you? Hmm, no sign of her. Uh, I forgot. This is called uh, I forgot what kind of irony this is, but the audience knows where she is, but the characters don't know where she is. It's a specific sort of irony. I forgot what it is. Of her. Why okay. do I have to? Police! A scream? Patrick it is, came from farther Patrick inside. Patrick is scared. Crow is probably going to be the most help. Patrick is, is going to be. It's probably it useless at this point. He's probably going to be super what? weak and. What is this place? Wow. So this is what it looks like down here now. I think it's time for us to get on the fucking elevator. Going down, huh? All right then, Patty Cakes. Time to lock and load. D don't call me that. But I don't. Is this an insult? That's a very cute name, by the way, Patty Cake. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh, she already out. Armor? <laughs> I hope they let me pause because I'm about to pause it right here, guys. <laughs> but if not, I may have to. Elise! Actually, you know, I'm probably just gonna pause it here. <laughs> the headless armor. Oh damn. Ooh, that looks fatal as shit right there. Oh. Oh, someone's using his ultimate power now. Oh shit, he's firing up Super Saiyan Reed! <laughs> oh, I- oh my god, he did not do Super Saiyan Reed. Oh my god. <laughs> His white hair? He's Crow. No, he's Sasuke. <laughs> I don't know. What the? Oh, it's over. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, I thought this might be a battle. And his ass is about to take him out. Now. This is literally the transformation I gave somebody in a fanfiction with fucking Malachi, and his hair turns white just like this. What the fuck? I've never played this game! How did this game took my take my idea? And this game has probably been out way before I made the fucking story. Oh my god. This is hilarious. And his eyes turn red. Well, I think my character's eye his eyes turned golden, but it was it was a Dragon Ball Z fanfiction. I was like in in that story I was I made pretty much a human uh Super Saiyan person. Superhuman. Not really a Super Saiyan. Ascend. And this was practically what- Oh my god. Okay. Anyways. Let's- I'm done fawning. Alright, let's- Let's do the art slash. 9,000 HP. Did I already- Did I always have 9,000 HP? No. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, let's- How about I motivate myself? Because I need to power up even more. Now. Wow, that really doesn't do much, does it? 
can do this arc slash. Yeah, I can't do this S break though. Oh, let's do that. Here we go. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is the same. This is the same. Resisting. Jesus Christ. Where's my? Oh, that's right, because I did that move. Um, you know what I need to do is. Where's my impassioned? Do I still have that move? Yeah, yeah. let's put that shit on myself. Did he just keep saying now this whole time in an echoey voice? Oh my gosh. Now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll have to just attack him because my CP is still down. Now. Oh my god. Summon power. Now. Oh, please do not fucking do that. You bullshit right now. Alright, it's time for me to do this move again. <laughs> we, we can't, like, we're the only person in this fucking battle right now. <laughs> oh, we got him! Yes! <laughs> oh boy. Just took two of those. <laughs> oh my god, this is the birthmark shit. Powering up. We're having a flashback? My friends? My friends flashback? This is weird. Oh my god, this is weird. What's happening? <laughs> I, oh. Is he trying I don't to know, Patrick. His power? How oh, Crow, how do you even know what what he's even doing to even deduct that he's suppressing anything? <laughs> Like, I, I just feel like he's just freaking the fuck out right now. <laughs> like... No. I'm not going to be... swallowed by it... any... more. There's a lot of realizations going on here. Like, he had no idea what the fuck that was, and now he's like, I'm not gonna be swallowed up by it? Is it a bad thing? Did you... do you inherently know that it's a bad thing? Like, I don't understand. to try anyway to take back myself and take back what I lost that winter's day oh maybe he does know about this oh his friends didn't see it oh no crow oh I love guns you're thinking of leaving he's, me he's out of the here. action are you take care of the girl catastrophe don't call me that catastrophe. either catastrophe that was a cuter name. <laughs> Patrick is totally Thanks. chill about all of this. I owe you one. By the way. No problem. Let's fire up those combat links. Oh, we're just gonna do combat links now? Because we're totally cool with each other. I did do a bonding one bonding event with his ass. <laughs> Come at me. Go! Alright guys, I'm gonna stop it here because this it's probably gonna be a long ass episode. I really have no idea what the fuck, when the fuck this is going to end. This could be like boss one, boss two, boss three, boss four. Who knows? So I'm just gonna stop it here, guys. This is getting fucking exciting. Like Rain Turn fucking Super Saiyan here, man. He he went like he did a uh, Kao Ken. Like I don't know what the fuck. You know how how these fucking these fighting animes go when you ascend to the next when you ascend to the next level and shit like i don't know i can't wait for the next fucking episode i can't wait till we get better explanation on this i can't wait till we see how this shit develops i can't wait till we can use this shit regularly in battle that probably won't be a thing till maybe later on or maybe in another whole nother game or i don't know limit breaking i guess <laughs> all right everyone see you on the next episode as always see you next time Bye bye